what you will need is some tortillas. You will need some Fritos. I'm using the classic ranch to add some fun flavor. I think that'd be really tasty. Um, some sour cream. My husband wants to do beans. You don't have to do beans, but um, refried beans, but my husband wants me to. Uh, Taco Bell's version, I don't think uses beans. They just use meat and cheese, I think, and then um, the Fritos, regular Fritos. But I'm gonna make this a little bit more full or filling. And then some Fiesta blend cheese. And this is the seasoning I'm using in my taco meat. You can use whatever you'd like. Season it to your preference. And of course, ooh, you'll need some cooked ground beef. All right, so that is what you're gonna need for this recipe. All right, let's get to cooking. All right, so um, Taco Bell's, <laughs> Taco Bell's um, beefy Fritos burrito tends to have um, the beef and the Fritos, it looks like they're mixed up just so it's like more of a nice blend. So that's what we're going to do too. Um, we will start by adding, all right, adding the meat in here. Now I'm just using a pound. You can use whatever, however much you want to use, um, just depending on how many people you're cooking for or or what. So it's up to you. But I'm just using a pound because I'm gonna be making this for um, five people. Riley's not gonna have this. He's gonna have something else for dinner. Um, but uh, yeah, and this is gonna be full of stuff, so it's gonna be filling. All right, so now get that in the way. Now let's just eyeball it and add some Fritos. I'm using, again, the classic ranch because that just sounded really good to me. Let me close that really quick. Put a handful, just a couple handfuls maybe. All right, that looks good. You can see that very good. Let me put it closer for you. Here we go. Sorry, it's like meat still on this side. All right, and I am just going to take one of my rubber spatulas and I'm just gonna mix it up. And I used lean beef. You can use whatever beef you prefer. I just used lean beef just because I'm trying to go on the healthier way to do this. But I know Fritos is not like the healthiest, but hey, a girl can do what a girl can do. All right, so that looks like it is well mixed up. Voila! All right, now to decorate the burrito or the the tortilla. All right, so I'm going to be using um, just my KitchenAid ladle. And I'm just gonna put it down here. This makes a good mix of it. All right, I think that looks like a good amount of meat and Fritos. And now I'm going to add the refried beans. Let's see, I'll just use this rubber spatula again, with no biggie. All right, so I'm just going to just flop it on there. That's a word, I'm gonna use it as a word. But let's do this. All right, so there, the refried beans are now on it. Sorry about all the background noise. My family does not realize I am making a video. <laughs> all right, and then now we're going to add some sour cream and some cheese. All right, so I'm just gonna add some sour cream. Just kind of make it even all the way through. Just a little bit more right there, I don't know. That looks good to me. All right. Now I'm going to add some shredded cheese to go over it. If I can open it. All right. Make a fair amount on there. So some people like some extra cheese and some people don't really care for it. So, and then, all right, now to wrap it up, you can always add um, some hot sauce if you'd like. I will be putting on mine Frank's hot sauce because I put that stuff on everything. <laughs> so here we go, just wrapping it up. All right, bon appetit.